My husband, M30, and I, F32, are going through some financial struggles right now. The reason for that is because my husband lost his job. He didn't earn much anyway working retail, being overworked and underpaid he said Thai reason he lost his job was because of his narcissist boss money is tight and the load fell on me completely to provide for us and pay for everything including wifi he promised to look for a job though. My husband started spending most of his time on his phone. I keep asking if he is looking for a job and he'd say yes, but it's been 3 months now. And I grew suspicious, because retail jobs aren't easy to find on the other hand I found myself paying so much towards Wi-Fi service, because of his endless activities on the internet. I didn't say anything till I ran into his former boss at the supermarket. We talked about my husband, and I brought up how he fired him, but he looked at me confused and told me. He didn't fire him, my husband quit with his own will, after giving him long rant about how he was sick and tired of working retail, and that he will never work in this field again. I was shocked and also fuming. I went home and confronted him. He admitted that it was true, and asked me to understand, because he was fed up with having to work as a server for rude, obnoxious people who don't respect him the way they should. I asked what he was going to do then, and he said he has been thinking of going back to school to earn a respectable degree and work a decent job. I asked where he would get the money to go back to school, and he shrugged and said I could start a fund for him with my salary, because like he said he will no longer work retail. I lost it at him and told him I won't save money for anything when I can barely manage. Oh and BTW I told him I was losing so much money on Wi-Fi service, and so I changed the password prohibiting him from using the internet again till he start helping pay for it. He got made and shouted about how I was robbing him of his rights to use the internet, but I stated that the internet is a privilege not a right but he called me selfish and unsupportive. I left for work later and he kept calling me telling me to give up the password, but I kept refusing. NTA but you have bigger problems than a password. Find a good family law attorney and I pray you don't have kids. NTA. Whatever he's been doing for the last 3 months isn't job searching, unless he's looking at jobs he's underqualified for, given he's disdainful of retail, especially if it's using enough internet to become a financial drain. He's lied about his last job with his boss, and how he parted from it, and only admitted to lying when you confronted him with the truth. This is a time to reevaluate the relationship knowing what you do now, and whether you think it's worth taking a chance on your husband or not. There are entry level job that aren't retail. Data entry, dishwashing, cleaning, changing tires, etc. Those are boring and sometimes hard jobs, but they help pay the bills and aren't retail. He's just not willing to pull his weight. He's only dreaming of having something better without being ready to do what it takes to get there. He shrugged and said I could start a fund for him with my salary R, the trust fund husband, NTA, Opus. Right? Like he thinks she should start a 529 plan for him, like you would a minor child. The guts this guy has to ask it if his wife. NTA but what a shitty marriage. Are you sure you want to be married to an entitled, lying man you have resorted to treating like a toddler? Mirinera flags. I can't begin to tell you how many jobs I've worked that I did not like, but I had to stay because I needed the money. I got addicted to silly things like eating. Totally NTA. And living indoors with luxury items like heat and water mayo. Op leave. Do you guys have kids? Is there something major you risk losing if you leave him? Because this is a big red flag. He quit his job without telling you and lied to you for 3 months telling you his narcissist boss fired him and during the 3 months he never once told you about his plan to never work retail again and for you to support him. He planned to live off of you and lie to you and wouldn't even have told you has not looking for jobs if you didn't find his boss. Are we sure he's not the narcissist? I beg leave. I know I know Reddit always suggests divorce blah blah but like some of your legit need it. Yep for me, it's not that he snapped and eventually quit his job, it's that he lied to Op about it. Maybe she would have been supportive and together they could have come up with a plan. If he'd come home and said babe, I quit my job today, I just couldn't take it anymore. 
please can we make a plan for me to get a better job, because I don't want to do retail anymore 3 months is a crazy amount of time to not come clean to your spouse. Info what is happening with your Wi-Fi plan? I found myself paying so much towards Wi-Fi service because of his endless activities on the internet. Is this a regional thing? Are you getting Wi-Fi off the phone network so you have limited data and every surplus costs you money? Sorry if this question is dumb or ignorant. This is just not a thing where I live and hasn't been for many years. Edit. Thank you all for your answers. Of course NTA, dump that man. There are countries with metered internet. NTA because instead of telling you the truth and communicating like an adult your husband decided to spin a yarn and try to lie to your face. He sounds very entitled. He lied about losing his job and without discussing how to move forward with his unhappiness and how you both can work towards changing the situation. Tell him to go to an internet cafe. I think you are right for setting boundaries, otherwise lord knows how long he'll be sad there scrolling pounds away. We'll give him the encouragement he needs to get the ball rolling. The library is a better option, depending on the area, since libraries provide free internet. NTA and I'm afraid you don't have a human in house anymore, you have a parasite. If he wanted things to change he would do something from finding any other job, or at least showing you, he is trying to IDK, seeing therapist. If he couldn't stand his job any longer maybe there are some psychological problems, but it's his thing, to communicate and ask you to help him seek help. He lied to you, uses up internet, can you check his history, what he is even doing all this time, and clearly doesn't want to go back to support your household. Finding a job isn't hard. But it's extremely hard if you let pride and entitlement take over. If somebody is willing to work hard, I can get them a job. You'll stink at the end of the day, but you'll be paid. NTA and sorry but, based on the description you are probably better off without him. He was fed up with having to work as a server for rude, obnoxious people who don't respect him the way they should so in return he's being lazy and making you work as a server for him, a rude, obnoxious person who does not respect you the way he should. Yeah, NTA, Opus. If he was fed up with his job he could have discussed it and his plans of going back to school with you prior to quitting and you could have made a plan together. Waiting 3 months and not looking for a job or making any reasonable plan about how to go back to school since that is what he wanted is also unacceptable. He lied to you for months and was planning to get away with it for as long as possible and get a break from work without considering that you would have to pick up the slack for him. So disrespectful, entitled, and just downright immature, not the kind of person to share your finances with because he clearly has no sense of responsibility. NTA. He basically quit to become a professional mooch. If he was serious about making a fund to go back to school, he could work retail to save up. But asking you to pay for his school fund and his living expenses is mooch talk. He better be bringing something extra special to the table at this point, because unilaterally deciding to mooch is a red flag. While not even mentioning that this was his plan. NTA but your husband sounds more like a son than your spouse good luck. NTA. He's being lazy and light. You have a man who is acting half his age. This will not change as he has no interest in changing. He just wants you to support his return to adolescence. What do asterisk why oh you asterisk want? NTA. And he lied. Leave him before he runs up the credit cards, if he hasn't already, and cancel any joint credit cards of course. This man will sink you financially. Makes me wonder if he's ran his own cards up first. The real question, are you better off with him or without him? The answer seems pretty clear here. He contributes nothing, wants even more than he's getting, and doesn't seem to care at all what it costs you. Next he'll be hammering on you to get a second job, so he doesn't have to work. You're definitely NTA. He sounds so entitled and dumb, and probably has a stick up his ass. Sounds like underlying couple problems, because how the hell did he manage to hide all that information to you for 3 months, longer if you didn't see his boss. If there's a will, there's a way, if he really wanted to use the internet he'll find a way, to provide for your guy's household. He never had plans to do anything. He only now thought of the college thing cause you caught him. 
he was willing to stay silent and do nothing while you struggle. He wanted to continue on lying. He just wants to take advantage of you. NTA if he wants rights to the internet he has to start contributing. There's other jobs and retail he can go for. NTA. He went about this the wrong way. He should kept the job and talked to you about wanting to go to school. Then together, you'd figure out a way to make it happen. Maybe two years at a community college for an associates before going for a bachelor's at a four-year school, which costs more. Maybe doing it part-time instead of full-time so he can work and afford to pay for it. So many other options than what he chose. He didn't even tell you he wanted to go to college. He was just hoping to leech off you until God knows when. IDK what the solution is. But you've got a problem bigger than a wifi password. Here are a few solutions. 1. Have him get a new retail job or go back to the old one. Get your finances straightened out for a few months since you've been a single income house for a while. Then begin saving. 2. Find a job in a field that doesn't require a degree. Ask around. Maybe someone could use an office assistant or data entry person. 3. Trad a school is faster than college and can get you a lot of money. For divorce, let him figure it out 5. Continue to let him do nothing. NTA. So he is constantly lying to you, refuses to work, and wants you to support his schooling and him, while he plans to go to attend a four-year university without working at all? Did I get it all? Asterisk asterisk said I could start a backquote fund for him with my salary asterisk asterisk op. I had to double check your post to see that this man is 30 years old, not 13. He's lying, entitled deadbeat. Get out of this relationship before he drags you down any further. NTA. NTA your man needs to get a job, any job, and stop being lazy, not even looking for a job, leaving you to carry the financial burden. NTA. He doesn't care. He wasn't even trying to get a job. He wasn't ashamed when you found out. He tried to turn it around on you. You can't trust this man. Kick him out. He can fend for himself. NTA. But also, cold and your husband use free wifi at McDonald's, Starbucks, the public library, etc. NTA. I'd like to know how much you spend every month on his diapers and formula. NTA. Holy s asterisk 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 girl, please dump his ass. He's lying, lazy, entitled and manipulative. Get out while you are young and let this loser figure out how he'll pay for his own shit.